Hello, everyone. Welcome along to the penultimate day of action of mini tournament number nine in the FIH Pro League. The Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park here in the east of London is the venue as the men get us underway with the top two in the current standings going head to head. It's Great Britain up against India. Now, as a mark of respect for the tragic events that happened in Odisha, India overnight, please now remain standing to pay respect by observing a minute's silence. It is Great Britain in the red shirts, blue shorts, red socks that get us underway, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side. India in there, all blue. Shamsha trying to dribble it out of defence. That's not what uh, they'll want to see here. Here is Shipley, lovely little ball off to Roper. Great save, really good save from Patak. And on the reverse stick, Wallace puts it wide. And it's going to be Bandarak. Bandarak with the hit, good save. Follow up from Sorsby, another brilliant save from Patak. Wow, that second save is unbelievable. It goes to Harman Preed on that castle, and there it is. Well, Great Britain pay the price for not converting their early chances. And India have the lead just shy of the halfway mark of the first quarter. It's their captain, it's their talisman. It's Harman Preet Singh from a penalty corner. Roper on the left, Ward on the right. It goes to Ward. Ward drag flex and scores. And they made that about 35, 40 seconds between the two goals on the game clock. Maximum. Absolutely maximum from the pushback. Great Britain had the opportunity they built that space. Oh, lovely ball into Mandy. Mandy gets the shot away. Oh, my word. What a shot from Mandy Singh. Absolute bullet. And India are back in front. 2 1. He has smashed this. Hardik, lovely bit of skill, sells Oates down the river. Oh, great turn, and there's a third goal for India. What a finish that is. Beautifully worked down that left-hand side. Subjit has finished it. Absolutely, the turn in the circle. That to take him into space and then drilled through Reynolds Cottrell. Ward scores! Now, who got the touch on that? If it is Ward, that is his 100th senior goal, his second of the afternoon. Where he said it was important that Great Britain score first if they wanted to get something from this contest in the second half. They've done that through Sam Ward, another penalty corner. Well, they've still got four from. Oh, it's back off the post. Well, against Reynold Cultural, that little jump. Uh, little jump, something I've noticed that's crept a little bit more into. Well, they've taken that from the wrong position, miles Great away. Britain. Absolutely and as a result, miles away. get uh, a huge benefit from it. Ward scores! Well, I think India need to come back and refer this because I think in Great Britain have had a huge advantage. Massive. The umpire is saying it's outside the 23, so you can't refer it. But I thought, I thought you could refer if it was in a direct passage of play. But Great Britain have got away with that because the free hit was miles, taken miles in front of where the whistle went. Well, it's a Sam Ward hat trick. The feeling of injustice here. Oh, oh. Morton again. Oh, swing of the miss from Bandarak. Coming together, Waller on the ground, and the chance here, and there is the go-ahead goal. I think there's nothing that Great Britain are asking the question, but it was just a coming together, wasn't it? I don't think there was anything wrong with it at all. Jack Waller in the first exchange seemed to slip over. They'll look at it, but there was nothing in it, in my opinion. So here is Great Britain. Chance here for Ward, scores! Sam Ward has a fourth! And it's Great Britain four, India four! And we're going upstairs. Again. Great finish, a lovely ball in from Morton. Open hand, a slap. 
That's not pushed, the two players jumping out the way of each other. They're questioning whether Zach Wallace at the front of the circle. This is a great finish. Ward, hands behind, punched into the turf. Absolutely beautiful. Decision, you can award the goal and India lose their referral. Sam Ward with a fourth and we've got seven and a half to go. Well, inside the seconds. final seconds, the cross it oh, comes. Oh, that was the Ray Das, brilliant. Control, there is the final hooter. What a contest that was. Calman gets the shootout underway. Calman driving at pace. Calman goes to the air. What a bit of skill that is from Will Calman. So Manfred up against Mazzarello, who was in goal when Great Britain beat the Netherlands 2-0 in Argentina. Manfred, lovely skill. I thought Mazzarello might have got by there, but no, Manfred finishes the job. Here he goes. Wallace finishes, taking it to the reverse stick. Three from three scored so far. Armand Preet nutmegs Mazzarello and levels it up at two all. Shipley goes to the left hand side into the side of the goal. Shipley the first to miss. Lalitz to give India the lead. Lalit twisting, turning. Yeah. Just too quick with his hands. Roper really must score here. And he's run straight into Patak. And wow, well, Phil Roper just doesn't do enough. So Abhishek to win it. Comes at pace at Mazzarello. Mazzarello goes down and Abhishek scores and India take the shootout win by four goals to two. They take the shootout bonus point. Disappointment for Great Britain. Mazzarello didn't get close to any of them. And India take the two points here in Lee Valley.